Now that we've talked about the tools used for retouching, let's now talk about some of the most popular or common retouching techniques. Starting with whitening teeth and eyes. There are lots of different ways to whiten teeth and eyes in Photoshop. We'll cover several throughout the semester. The first way is to make the teeth look less yellow by reducing the overall saturation in the image. If you reduce the saturation, you remove the color, and if you remove the color, you're removing the yellow color from the teeth. Better yet, reducing the saturation of only the yellow tones in the teeth area will produce a more realistic result because the other tones, like the reds and the blues and the greens, uh, will remain in place so that you won't accidentally desaturate, let's say, the lips or the tongue in the image. Try not to over-adjust the image. If the teeth end up being too white, it will look unnatural. If you duplicate the original layer before making edits, you can always lower the opacity so that the changes blend with the original image, making the adjustment look as natural as possible. And by this time in the semester, you probably realize that's one of my favorite things to do. I make a change, it's too drastic, it's too kind of out there. I lower the opacity so it blends with the original layer, and then overall it looks as natural as possible. If you look at the example on the screen here, we have an image of somewhat yellow teeth, and we'd like to make them more white, ideally like the image in the middle here. Uh, but after I made a selection and I lowered the saturation, the teeth looked really, really white in this bottom example. And it was just too white, it was too harsh, and it looks it almost looks like they have false teeth or dentures because it's so white. Um, instead of doing it over again and saying I did a bad job, I simply lowered the opacity down on the really bright white teeth layer so that the yellow teeth and the white teeth blended together to create a more natural or subtle look to the change. The steps that you can use to whiten teeth and eyes, I'm just going to show you the teeth, but if you had eyes, like if the whites of someone's eyes were not as white as you would like them to be, you could do the same technique. First, duplicate the original layer because that's what we always do. Make a refined selection of the area you wish, you wish to lighten. So select the teeth and then you could feather the edge if you wanted to. Um, you can then make the adjustment by choosing the image menu, adjustments, and hue and saturation. Um, if you want to, if you want to connect what we're doing right now to what we did in Chapter 12, you could also use the Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer. Um, I'll show you both ways when I jump over to Photoshop. We can narrow down the adjustment to just the yellow within the selection, um, or if it's red for the eyes, you can limit the adjustment just to the red part of the eye. And then instead of changing the color, we're going to lower the saturation until all the color is washed out of the white area for the teeth so that they appear to be more white. And you can see on this example here that we made the selection uh, of the yellow teeth. I launched the hue and saturation dialog box either via the menu bar or a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We narrowed the selections down to yellow so that if I make a change, it's only affecting the yellow part of the image. And then I lowered the saturation, not all the way, but most of the way, so that the teeth ended up being whiter. Um, in this example, this is a different example than the one on the first slide, I didn't whiten the teeth or over whiten the teeth, and so I could just stop here and say that's how white my teeth are going to be for the picture. If you happen to go too far, you can always do what I said earlier, and you could um, lower the opacity on the change layer so it blends with the original. And so you can see in the final example that we have teeth that are now white. They're not too white, so they don't look abnormal, but they're much whiter than the original. Let's jump back to Photoshop, and I'll demo how to do this. Now the image that I'm using is a different image because I don't have that same image anymore, but it's the same process. And so before we get started, I will duplicate the background layer. I'm going to right click and choose duplicate layer. Or you can use command J. Now that I have a duplicate layer, I can make a selection. I made a rough selection. I used the quick selection tool and I just kind of roughed it out there. If you want to go above and beyond, you could feather the edge. Select and modify and feather. And maybe we'll feather. 100 pixels is a lot to feather. So I'm only going to feather it 2 pixels and that will kind of soften the edge of whatever adjustment I apply. The first option is to use destructive editing and to make the change on the actual layer and because I duplicated the background it's okay to use the destructive editing because I'm only destroying the background copy not the actual background. To do that you can go to the image menu, choose adjustments and then hue and saturation. Um, with the hue and saturation dialog box open, let's move this over a little bit so you can see, you can adjust the saturation, slide to the left, but watch what happens. All of the colors in the entire selection are being adjusted. And so you end up with an image that looks kind of gray and kind of gross. 
And so let's put the saturation back at zero, which is the default. If we change it to just the yellows, all the other tones, all of the, the reds and the greens and the blues and the blacks, etc., in the image, they're going to remain in place. And so now when I adjust the saturation slider, as I'm adjusting, I'm just lowering the saturation of the yellow. And so if I slide it to the right, you can see that I could make her teeth really yellow. Or I could slide it just enough to the left so her teeth look a little bit whiter. If you go too far, you're going to end up with teeth that look way too white. And so you want to kind of go back and forth until you find a happy medium. Nobody has the literal color white teeth, and so you never want to make it too white. And when we deselect and I zoom out, you can see that now her teeth, let's zoom back, her teeth are uh, whiter than before. And so that was the original. They're not too yellow. And when we turn the, the change layer on, it's now just slightly more white. Now, that was destructive editing. And so another option, I'm going to turn off that change layer, and I'm going to show you how to do this with an adjustment layer. And so let's undock the layers panel here. It works the same exact way. So you would make your selection. I'm not going to redo that. So I'm going to choose select and reselect, and it will remember what I had selected. If you select a layer and choose, I like to call it the black and white cookie. If you choose the black and white cookie, which are your adjustment layers, you can choose to make a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Because I had a selection made, uh, it'll automatically create a layer mask, and only the white area is going to be affected by the hue and saturation. And it's really, really small on there, but what it represents is the teeth that I had selected. When you launch a, an adjustment layer, it syncs up to the properties panel. And so because I made a hue and saturation adjustment layer, if I look at the properties panel, I have those same options I just had in the hue and saturation dialog box, but now I'm applying it as an adjustment layer. And so you can change the color to yellow, just like we did in the dialog box. And you can lower the saturation, just like we did in the dialog box. And if you go too far, it's way too white. If you go to the right, you can make her have more yellow teeth. And then you can find your happy medium so that she has slightly whiter teeth than before. And both options work, right? So this is the background copy, and her teeth are whiter. And this is the adjustment layer, and both are making her teeth look whiter than before.